Hello. How's it going? Good evening, everybody. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. So, hello. How's everyone? I hope you're okay. Let's talk The Witcher. Right? The Witcher. So The Witcher is a TV show based off of a series of books, which was a game that was based off of these books. But apparently the books and the games are different, and then the TV show follows the books, but not close enough to the books, but sort of close to the books. I think. Everyone kept telling me to watch it. I was like, ah, I don't really want to watch it. And I was like, watch it! Because my friends were like, you're gonna love it. And little did they know, I'm picky and I hate things. One of my eyes is definitely drooping. I might have a brain tumor because I'm tired. I don't know. WebMD says it's cancer. So I thought let's get into a, a review about this, but not any review, a rant, a drunk rant, which I wanna do more of because why not? Uh, a drunk review rant of do 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 That was the wrong theme song. So of course we've got to do a drunk review. Um, shh, I'm already a little inebriated uh, because I've already had some of this. But of course we need alcohol to do so. Uh, this is my drink of choice. Actually, Moscato is my drink of choice. I don't want to hear any judgment. You people who say it's a dessert wine. You can drink Moscato whatever you want. You wine snobs who are like, it's too sweet. Here's the thing. Grapes are sweet, so wine should be sweet. Duh. Hello? So I drink Moscato. It's what I do. So we're just gonna have uh, some more of this, the Riscato. Um, Riscato, it's amazing. It's called Riscato. It's red Moscato. It's delicious. I heard about it at Olive Garden. It's not expensive either, because I don't do expensive things. Suddenly, this is turning into a wine review with Queen V. We're totally not sponsored by Riscato. I wasn't paid to say how much I love it. Although, your girl could dream. Cheers. Ah, let's get into it. I have taken some notes. I will be going off of these and what I can remember. The Witcher is about a man named Geralt. Geralt? How do you say it? No one really knows. Not even Netflix. He's a witcher, which apparently is like a mutation of a person that's a thing and they hunt stuff for money. It sounds like a male escort that kills things, but whatever. It should be noted that I was a big Game of Thrones fan, but I was also a fan of Cersei. I am a Lannister. So while y'all was mad, my girl was winning. I mean, she didn't know how she was winning. She didn't really know what she was doing. But she was winning. I was up. I was great with her until she started killing dragons. Then I was like, hold up, bitch. You could train the dragons for yourself and still be amazing. So Geralt. Geralt. Gerald. So Gerald hunts things. Creatures. Magical things. Uh, scary things. He's magical, I think. Um, I don't know. He did something with his hand. He did bloop and it went like boo. Uh, so that's all I know. The first thing's first. Um, obviously, uh, if you haven't seen The Witcher, this might be spoilery for you. Probably. Ain't no reason that deer had to fucking die. That was a cute little deer. He could have been saved. Netflix, you wrong for that shit. You played us. We thought the deer was okay. And then Gerald touches be like, swoosh. He's in a town and then like, Ooh, naked bitches. That's a lot of titties. There was a wizard. It was a good time. I like this Rinfrey girl. Well, shit. And the next thing you know is like, what in the name of quasi fucking Moto is happening on the television? And you're like, what is going on? And then she's like, um, I, I'm a hunchback. My family obviously doesn't love me. And then all of a sudden she does a thing. Um, and then there was like teenage just having sex. They better have been wearing a condom. Um, cause safety first. Um, and then she went like poof, poof, boom. And then she was there with a boy and he was like, she knows about you. And you're like, what? Who knows about what? And she's like, you gotta go. And it was like, Phew. and then she was like, wee. And the next thing you know, there was like this woman on a carriage and she was fabulous. 
<laughs> I'm here for your daughter. My daughter, Jennifer, yes, Quasimodo. And my wife was like, no, papa, you be gone. Give me the money. I will take Jennifer now. Uh, so she takes Jennifer and you're like, what's happening? Turns out she's Dumbledore uh, and she teaches at some fucking lighthouse on a rock somewhere. By the way, we have no idea where we are right now. Like we have no idea um, where we are, what city, what's going on. Things are confusing. We know that Gerald, he's from Riviera, uh, Riverfall, something like that. Um, and I think we're in Riverfall. So Gerald's doing things and he's off and they're like, you gotta do things and all this other stuff. And people are like, be gone, Witcher. And I'm like, don't you like witchers? They kill bad things and deer. Like, be gone, you stupid. And he's like, I will not be gone. I, something like that. So then he's like, I show hurt you. And then he's just all of a sudden like, swoosh, swoosh, let's your flock. And he's like, bleh. So Gerald does his thing. Gerald's going and doing things, right? Uh, meanwhile, Quasimodo Jennifer is being taught all of a sudden magic. Uh, turns out she's a, a mage sorceress thing. Uh, and that's fun. And she has people and they're like, you're a hunchback. And she's like, duh. My hunchback. Obviously she is. They can tell. It's like someone trying to be like, oh, you gay. What gave it away? And then all of a sudden, there's this girl. And she's like, maybe special. And her aunt, grandma, mom, grandma, is like a queen. And her queen is like, bah, things are happening. And the next thing you know, the queen's fighting. And you're like, why is the queen fighting? Shouldn't like the guards have said no? And they're like, the lioness of Flugen Blugen. And I'm like, who is that? And at this point, the show is way too fucking confusing. And the people who read the books are like, I know what's going on. And I'm like, well, I don't. I'm glad you do. Ugh. So I'm confused. And the queen is fighting. And then her husband just gets like a freaking arrow in his chest. And he's like, I am dead. And she's like, no. And the next thing you know, she's back from the battlefield, but she looks like she's real fucked up. And she's like, they're gonna breach the gate. Then a sorcerer is like, I will hold the gate. Uh, and then all of a sudden they all die. And the little girl, the grandma's like, fine, Gerald of Rivendell. Yes, I will do that. So she's like, and she's just gone, right? And apparently she's special because she screams. Ah! The ground just goes. <laughs> That's the end of the first episode. Hello? Okay, so let's fast forward a little bit. Jennifer's stuff is going well. It's going great. Uh, turns out she's really gifted and talented, but she doesn't quite fit in and no one knows why. Uh, Gerald is doing some things. What's the girl's name? Uh, one of the help bots, like with a phone. Alexa. So Alexa is doing things, right? And she's a special little girl and she just knows she's supposed to find Gerald. So she's out finding Gerald and things are happening and it's a good time. <laughs> Anyway, okay. Next thing you know, they're eels! They're fucking eels. Turns out they're batteries. They're just battery pack eels. And all of a sudden there's a light. Dumbledore's like, this is how it has to be. She's having sex with a dude and there's applause. And like, she's doing it. And like this dude is enjoying it, but he's not. Turns out they're working against each other from different factions, I think. Anyway, I'm more confused than ever. And it, we're just on like the third, fourth episode. I don't know. Jennifer is like, I need to be pretty. What the fuck? Is that her uterus? Bing, bing, boom. And the door's open and there's Jennifer. She no longer has a humpback. She no longer has a mangle. She is now the sexy. And so Jennifer is just like, um, yeah, with this woman, and then there's a thing that's trying to kill the woman and a baby, and Jennifer's like, fuck this bitch. And she takes the baby, and the baby dies. The baby dies. She buries the baby in, like, half a foot of sand, uh, because she couldn't be fucking bothered because she's Jennifer of, um, Baguette to Bon. So, Jennifer of Vaga Baguette, uh, is doing her thing, right? She's going off. At this point is when I started to realize...
There's some wonky time shit happening here. I think these three storylines of Alexa, Jennifer, and Gerald are starting to not make sense. I don't think this is happening at the same time. I think it's not. Because I'm confusion. Guardian Leviosa. I am a hoe. I'm still so, so, so confused. It's a thing. Also, we need to talk about Alexa. The first time you see her, her hair's in like a blonde like braid and she's wearing a green velvet dress and she was giving me some major fiona from shrek vibes like what is this shit then everyone is telling me episode four is where it all makes sense so i get to episode four and guess what doesn't make sense still confusion wow is that a porcupine that girl gonna like kiss that porcupine that porcupine is kind of sexy. I'd fuck. And then like things get weird and some stuff happens and there's Gerald. And then now we have a new character introduced. His name is, I don't know, he sings. I never thought this is where I would end up. He's singing and doing things and they get kidnapped and you learn that elves happen and the lioness caused it and all kinds of other stuff. I know this is confusing. Guess what? The series isn't much better. I'm trying to make sense of this. Can't you listen to the reasons? I said what I said. Jennifer and Gerald meet. And guess what? They're gonna have sex. I don't know anything about gold dragons. Guess what? He's a lying bitch. He's a gold dragon. There's an egg. Gerald's like, I will defend this egg. To my honor. And Jennifer is like, ooh, I'm a sorceress. She like left the lighthouse and they mad at her. I don't know. Wait, they met and there was an orgy and that was the coolest thing in the world. That's how I want to live my life. I want to be in a ball gown in the middle of naked people having an orgy while drinking apple juice. That's the way to my heart. Then there's a genie. Yes, it's like there's a Dijon mustard and it can grant wishes and it made Jaskillier his neck throat talking and he's dying and apparently he likes titties I thought he was a gay I'm just saying uh, but apparently he likes titties so um you know there's things happening and she's like I can help and she's like I will trap this this Dijon inside of me because apparently she wants kids but she didn't before but apparently she needs it now like girl make up your mind uh but it didn't work and she and Geralt they have the sex um and then there was a dragon yes then there was a dragon god listen I know I'm out of order but so is this fucking series you're telling me diva it's okay it's just the sword it's the master sword this is your legacy diva Ba -na -na -na. <coughs> Where was I? I don't remember what else happened. Was there more important things? There was monsters. That was the thing I remember. Um, something about a man who had sex with his sister or his daughter. I don't remember. Or his daughter became a monster because he was having... I don't know. This is how it works in kingdoms and things. Hi, Diva. It's her destiny to carry the Master Sword. I guess it's not. So things keep happening and all kinds of stuff and then the sorceresses are like, we gotta stand up. Fringy bitch is stupid. She's... Did you just fart? Fringy bitch is rude. She's a sorceress, but she's killing other sorceresses and being a shit stirrer because she's helping her person take over some other person's things. And apparently she caused... The shit at the castle, at the beginning, yeah, I know. It's timeline shit. I don't deal well with time stuff. It's a whole thing. Anyway, she's causing some stupid shit, right? So they're like, bring back the girls. And so the girls go back to the lighthouse and they're like, we gotta attack. And one guy's like, this is my daughter. And they're like, control your daughter. He's like, I can't control my daughter. So then they're like, oh no, what do we do? And Fringy Bitch shows up and she's like, my war is not with you. Okay, listen. I actually like Fringy Bitch. She's a bitch. She's mean. She's powerful. I enjoy her. But fuck her. So they go and they go to fight and there's things. Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing things. There has to be things that I'm missing, right? Nah, that's about it. And then all of a sudden all the sorcerers start dying because of bullshit. Stupid bullshit. Which was rude because I started to like some of them. Blink. Blink. 
the Black Moon rises again. I'm a better Zelda. So the fight continues on and Gerald's there. Gerald's there and apparently he's thinking about his mom. Um, <laughs> this is weird. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, uh, Alexa is having some trouble. She found some people in the woods and things have happened. There's a shapeshifter. Yeah, fuck shapeshifters. That's my least favorite trope is when there's a shapeshifter and we know, but they don't know. And you're like, listen, you need to question you people in your life all the time because you never know when there's a shapeshifter, right? So always question you people. Come up with code words. That's what I do with my friends' code words to know that, like, shapeshifters aren't in my life. Everything's great. And he's like, well, actually, Gerald's, like, dying because some stuff had happened. Jennifer's being Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get sued. All the timelines are starting to come across because then there's Gerald and then there's Alexa and they're like, help! And it's like, woo! And then Jennifer, the only good thing about this series is like, I'm gonna be on a rock and I'm just gonna be like, fire today! And then she's gone. So we don't know where she's at. She might be dead. If she's dead, I'm not watching anymore. Netflix, do you hear me? I will cancel my subscription. It's not gonna matter because like, you won't care because you have so many more people. Jennifer better not be dead. And those of you who read the books are like, <laughs> like snickering, like, listen, you little bitch. I hate you. So Jennifer is gone. Gerald is like, what do I do? And all of a sudden, uh, Alexa is like, I'm awake. I, I, Gerald is here. And he's like, Alexa, something about fate and destiny. And there was a wish and things have happened and people are together. And so he's like, tuk, 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 tuk. and he's like, woo. And then they hug and then, She's like, I knew I would find you. And he's like, fate always brings people together. And apparently fate brought them together. But Jennifer is gone. And who knows where the hell she is at. And that's where we end our story. Also, Jennifer is hot. I don't know what this was about. I tried to do my best. I hope this was good. Toss a coin to your witcher. A valley of plenty. A valley of plenty. A valley of plenty.